We live in a world full of beauty and wonders. Come join us in exploring some of the most beautiful places that Washington State has to offer. Washington is full of misty forests, majestic mountains, deep blue lakes, and foggy beaches that will make you feel like you're in a fairy tale. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we're here at CJ's having an amazing breakfast. In a couple hours, we're going to go pick up our rental car and head over to Olympic National Park. We're really enjoying Seattle so far. People are so friendly and there's such a nice earthy vibe here. So much nature, beautiful parks. I really like it. Are we staying tonight? Yes. Actually, tonight we're going to end up in Forks. Yeah, Forks. They, they recorded the... the Movie Twilight, yeah, kind of movie. <laughs> which obviously we haven't seen, but yeah. <laughs> apparently Forks draws huge crowds of fans of Twilight, so yeah. we're going to go film some stuff around there so you can see it if you are a fan. Our adventure today starts in the city of Seattle, which is three hours from Forks. On our way to Forks, we're going to explore the northern part of Olympic National Park. On this journey, we're going to show you how to experience the best of Olympic National Park in just two days. We're on the road to Olympic National Park, and this morning we went to the Chihuly Garden and Museum, and it was really cool. I loved it. The garden was like being on a planet in a sci-fi movie and the the glass sculptures were so pretty. I really liked the ones that seemed like they were ocean inspired. And by the way, the best way to see the national parks is to get one of these America the Beautiful annual park passes. We actually used the same one for our honeymoon. And since we're traveling in July this year too, we get to use it again. And our first stop is gonna be Lake Crescent. Of course, it would be possible to spend a whole week here, but sometimes you just don't have the time. One of our first stops is the Squim Bay Scenic Rest Stop. Located on Highway 101, the scenic pullout is full of native art and beautiful scenery. A great place to stop, rest, and admire the beauty of its surroundings. Now our first official stop in Olympic National Park. So last minute we decided to go to Hurricane Ridge Trailhead first and right after you get in the park there's this beautiful overlook on the left side of the road and we decided to hike this little trail that goes to the right of it and this is what we found. It's glorious. Morse Creek Overlook is a dramatic roadside pull-off overlook with a few parking spots on the way to Hurricane Ridge Trail. This beautiful place is magical and full of picture-perfect backdrops for family photos. It also has a very short trail with a great reward at the end. After this short stop, we drive to Hurricane Trail on a whim, although it wasn't originally in our plan, and we're so glad we did. We just made it to Hurricane Ridge Visitor Center, and this view is breathtaking. The drive here is just You'll never forget it. Hurricane Ridge offers an unforgettable hiking experience with unique views. We start at the Hurricane Ridge Visitor Center where exhibits, an orientation movie, restrooms, and a gift shop are available year-round. This hike is full of nature and beautiful plants for you to enjoy. And you can find many four-legged friends of various sizes along the way. The Hurricane Ridge Road is open 24 hours a day from mid-May into October. The rest of the year, it opens primarily on weekends. There are also picnic areas available during summer only. During a visit in the summer, this hike offers 360-degree views, north across the Straits of Juan de Fuca to Victoria, Canada, or the southern view of the glacier-clad Mount Olympus. The views from Hurricane Ridge are truly unmatched on clear days. We just hiked the Hurricane Hill Trail. 
The mountain views here are so spectacular. These are the most beautiful mountains I've ever seen. So we had an amazing time and we're so happy that the whole trail on the way back is downhill. Doing this particular hike can make for an amazing workout. There are even longer hikes available too. Now we're driving from Hurricane Hill Trail to our next stop, Lake Crescent. Lake Crescent is nestled in the northern foothills of the Olympic Mountains. Lake Crescent is known for its brilliant blue waters and exceptional clarity. The pristine waters of this deep, glacially carved lake make it the perfect destination for those in search of unique natural beauty. Lake Crescent has several amazing hiking trails. Three of the most popular are Marymere Falls, which leads to a beautiful waterfall, Moments in Time, a short but beautiful trail to do with your family, and Spruce Railroad Trail, which runs along the North Shore. This trail, Moments in Time, is the best smelling place I've ever been. The smell of the pine and the cedars is so pretty. minutes from Lake Crescent, we find one of the most stunning green forests that we've ever visited, on the Sol Duke Trail. The Sol Duke Valley is located in the northwest region of Olympic National Park. The Sol Duke River begins high on the Olympic Mountains and is famous for the Sol Duke Hot Springs, formed by geothermal activity in the Olympics. With ancient forests and the famous Triple Sol Duke Falls waiting close to the trailhead, it's a very popular but not crowded destination. Here we are at the beautiful Sol Duke Waterfall. The trail to get here is super easy and just stunning with the beautiful mossy trees and gnarly roots. This is the Ancient Groves Trail, really close to Sol Duke Trailhead. And the way to get here, if you're coming from the entrance to Sol Duke Road, and you're going down towards Sol Duke Trail, you just watch for the sign to Ancient Groves Trail, and right after that there's a little parking lot, and that parking lot to the far right, you're gonna see the trail start. So just keep looking around and you'll find the start of the trail. It is magical here, so worth it and very uncrowded. The Ancient Groves Trail is a short trail in size, but full of beauty. The mossy trees and the green forest make this trail a magical place. It's a wonderful spot for photography, as you can find plentiful areas where the sunlight pierces through the trees. After this incredible encounter with nature and beauty, we drive to Forks, the home of Twilight and maybe some vampires. Our journey is not over as we still have a few wonderful places to visit before we leave this amazing national park and head to Mount Rainier. In Forks, we drive past the Swan House, which is supposedly Bella's house in Twilight. Then we go to our hotel, the Pacific Inn, to get some sleep after a wonderful day of hiking so we can wake up bright and early for our second day of exploring the enchanting Olympic National Park. After a well-deserved rest, we continue our journey of exploring new and exciting places in this magnificent national park. Our next stop is Ruby Beach. We just arrived to Ruby Beach in Olympic National Park. This beach is really popular and today it's super misty and so it has a really magical feel to it. Let's go check it out. Since we live on an island surrounded by some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, we thought that we might just skip this one and move to our next destination, but we're glad we didn't. Ruby Beach is a special place of its own. Its weird rock formations, pebbly sand, and chilly sea breeze make this experience a once in a lifetime for us. It's a totally different experience than visiting a tropical beach. Not better or worse, just different, and that's the essence of traveling. 
experiencing the diversity and beauty of nature everywhere you go, and being able to take that experience with you and create unique memories that will last a lifetime. Close to Ruby Beach, just five minutes away, you will find a special tree that will inspire you to persevere and embrace life. Despite its roots not having any soil, this tree just keeps on going, hence, getting the name Tree of Life. Some people say this tree goes against the rules of science and shouldn't be alive. But once again, nature is showing us that where there's a will, there's a way. Our adventure for today is almost over, but not before visiting another incredible rainforest, the Queen Alt Rainforest. This rainforest is located in the valley formed by the Queen Alt River and Lake Queen Alt. This is the Queen Alt Rainforest Nature Trail. This is going to be our last stop today before we go to Ocean Shores to relax after a long day of hiking at our hotel. And this rainforest seems to be very uncrowded, but really, really beautiful. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the trail looks like. The Queen Alt Rainforest is a temperate rainforest in the southeast part of Olympic National Park. This valley is called the Valley of the Rainforest Giants because of the number of record-setting sized trees located here. The forest receives an average of 12 feet of rain per year. It is believed to be the smallest area in the world with the greatest number of record-sized giant tree species. It has the largest trees in the world outside the state of California and New Zealand. the trail down past the stream and to Lake Queen Oat. There we find the most idyllic campsites imaginable right on the lake. We would love to take our future kids camping there someday. We finish our day in ocean shores with a nice meal and great beers after an amazing day. Just experiencing so much beauty in nature makes us feel so blessed. You like it? Couple berry. I like it. <laughs> In our next video, we enjoy local culture at a car show on our way to Mount Rainier, we hike two of the most gorgeous trails in the world, and go searching for whales. Stay tuned for part three of our incredible Washington road trip. Thanks so much for watching, and please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. The world is an amazing place. Go out, live, explore, and create new memories that will last a lifetime. See you on our next adventure.